Hello. Welcome to the PARS Health TV channel. We hope you're having a good day and you are happy and healthy. In this channel, we give you tips to keep you healthy and out of trouble. In this video, we want to talk about how to get rid of the neck hump. This video is for educational purposes only and if you have any specific condition or illness, you should consult with your doctor. Have you ever gazed at yourself from the side, either in a mirror or in a photo, and seen a hump on the back of your neck, or maybe one of your friends or family members pointed out that you had a neck hump? One of the most common questions is what is that hump or what can I do to eliminate my neck hump? In this video, we are going to be sharing with you the causes and treatment of a hump on the back of the neck. These five exercises and stretches fix this condition, so stay tuned with us. If you like topics like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to see daily videos just like this one. Alright, let's get started. Some people still refer to this as a dowager's hump, a hunchback, a buffalo hump, or forward head posture. The medical term is a dorsocervical fat pad. The reason for that name is because it is a mass of fat tissue on the dorsal part of the spine on the back of the neck. A buildup of fat between the shoulder blades causes a hump in the back of the neck to form. A dowager's hump is an old and now unacceptable term for when the top of the back is severely rounded, giving the appearance of a hump on the back of the neck. How to fix it? If left untreated, a person with dowager's hump will start to have pain in their shoulders and neck. Over time, their chin will go closer to their ribcage and the result can be spinal degeneration. Many people with dowager's hump experience severe headaches in addition to their neck and shoulder pain. Some people are more irritated by the physical aesthetic of dowager's hump while others just want some relief from the pain it causes. The good news is that dowager's hump can be managed and for some people, it can be corrected completely. Here are 5 stretches that can help you to fix your neck hump. Number 5. Neck Stretch. When you have a neck hump, your trapezius and scalene muscles are also engaged in this issue. So, this may cause neck pain and headache for you. The upper muscle in your neck which is on the back of your head will be so tightened if you have experienced pain in this area. With this stretch, you can make this muscle stronger. To do this stretch, you should stand with your shoulders down and back. Smoothly pull your right ear toward your right shoulder, you can put your hand on your hand to give your neck more support. Then stretch your neck to the side. Hold the pose for 20 seconds and repeat the action for 3 sets. Number 4. Advanced Chest Expansion. This exercise has many different types and all types will work on your upper back. It will make your upper back muscles stronger and more flexible on both sides, back and front. It also increases the range of motion in the shoulders and chest. You can do this exercise while you are standing, and holding a Pilates band behind your back with both hands, stretch the band, and lift your chin up and look toward the ceiling. Hold the pose for 30 seconds each set, and having 3-5 sets is enough per day. You can also do this exercise at the gym with gym equipment. There is another type of this exercise that is helpful to shoulder pain. For doing it, you should bring your hands up to your shoulders, and shape little circles with your hands, do it slowly with concentration and focus. Number 3. Seated Shoulder Stretch. This movement has been suggested by physical therapists for those who want to strengthen their upper back muscles and neck muscles. To do this stretch you need a resistance or Pilates band, if you do not have a Pilates band, it's fine, you can do the exercise, and it will be effective even without bands. These bands are available in various types of strength levels, you can choose the one which is appropriate to your level. For doing this stretch you should stand with a straight back, or you can sit on a chair. 
Put your feet as wide as your shoulders, and it is important to have a slight bend on your knee if you are standing. Hold the band with straight arms in front of you. Squeeze the band slowly by your hands to the sides. Focus on the squeezing, and do it slowly. You should keep your arms straight during the movement. And then return to the starting point and do it again. You should have 10-15 reps on each set. You can do it one or two times a day. Number 2. Chest doorway stretch. This stretch will directly affect your upper back muscles and especially your lower neck muscle. This move has been suggested by many physical therapists because it opens the chest and stretches the shoulders. Stand with a doorway about 1 to 2 feet in front of you. Bend both your elbows to 90 degrees and raise your arms so your upper arms are parallel to the floor. Place your forearms on either side of the doorway. Step forward placing one foot on the other side of the doorway. Slowly shift weight onto the front foot until you feel a stretch in your chest. Hold. Complete 3 sets for 15 to 30 seconds each, 2 to 3 times a day. Number 1. Press up. If the previous exercise is difficult for you, and you feel pain while you are doing it, it is better to start with an easy version which is called press up. You should start all the exercises slowly and carefully. We have suggested these exercises to ease your pain and not to hurt your health more than before. So, do the exercises with concentration and focus to avoid any damages. If this pose gives your disc a light pain at first, you can put a pillow under your belly. To do this exercise you should lie on the belly or be in a prone pose, and prop up the upper body on the elbows. You can both lift and do not lift the hips off the floor. Hold the press up position initially for 5 seconds and gradually work up to 30 seconds per repetition. Having a neck hump not only gives you a poor posture, but it also gives you pain and headache, so if you have a neck hump, you can put these exercises in your daily routine and for severe cases, you should see a doctor. If you are interested in videos like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.